that identity politics has fragmented the, the political debate. I think increasingly political parties uh, appeal to groups in the community according to what they have in common as distinct from the rest of the community. And I think that is a thoroughly bad development. I grew up in politics believing that what a political party should do is develop a program built around a philosophy. But I think we have coarsened, not only coarsened the political debate, but we have lost the capacity to have a civilised discussion absent accusations of bigotry and racism and discrimination. So much of this done in, in, in the name of tolerance, particularly racial tolerance, yet what is happening is that people are being encouraged to think of themselves more than they did years ago as being a Chinese Australian or Greek Australian or Anglo-Celtic and I think it is uh, an extremely bad of it. But worst of all, it, it defies the capacity of a political party to develop a program that has universal appeal. I find the decline in reasoned civil debate uh, quite appalling and it's not something that I would recommend to anybody and if anybody sought my uh, political advice about how they should conduct themselves with a view to achieving preferment or promotion, uh, I certainly would counsel them very strongly against that.